Barbara is just so um, by the book in so many ways, you know, by the, the letter of the law. And, you know, it's, 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 um, it's a thing that you would do if you were looking at someone that was your hero and you wanted to get to them and you had no idea what their actual story was that brought them to that place. So you would just go, I just got to do everything. You know, if you were looking at the college classes, you got, I got to take all of them and I've got to get A's on all of them. And I just, you know, she was a super overachiever, you know, and she had that from this fantastical, amazing vigilante who's so well known and beloved in her city. And then her father, you know, who's this incredible Commissioner Gordon, who's how incredible he is and the work that he's done and the collaboration that they've built. And it's just so historic. It's like, I can imagine her like looking at that and going like, how do I find my place and my space? She's got uh, a real instinct and, and, you know, she's powerful and she's dynamic and she's super smart and she's really talented and she's all those different things. And so you have an ego, obviously, that goes along with it. But comparatively to Batman's ego, she's egoless almost. Um, and it's just kind of interesting to kind of see her just that determination, that, that baseline about what really matters to her, what gets her ticking. And she just really loves her city and she really you know, works really, really hard and is inspired by Batman, you know what I mean? And really, if it wasn't for Batman, she wouldn't be necessarily who she is. And so that's really cool to kind of see how that, you know, you get that influence, but also how you spin it and make it yours and take it to another level and sometimes maybe inspire the people who you were inspired by. Comedy angle is key. You know, the thing about, and, I, and I've been lucky to be friends with a lot of comedians over the years, and comedians can go dark. Comedians can go like really heavy, like they really look at the abrasive truth and then find something, you know, to laugh at about it. And I think that's really key and important, you know, because otherwise it can just be really light and fluffy and kind of childish and date it in a totally different way. This has got what you love about The Simpsons and what you love about so many other arenas where you can watch it as a kid and be completely, you know, it's colorful and it's crazy and chaotic and it's fun and there's characters from every different universe and world that you could possibly imagine all coming together. It's a blast. And also adults can watch and be like, ah, I got what you were going there and all the innuendos and things that are, you know, for the diehard fans who are not being introduced to some of these characters for the first time. I'm really excited to be a part of the film, I think, mostly just because it's a new iteration of Batman. It's a modern day iteration of Batman and it's bringing Legos out in a whole new way and it's just some of my favorite things all brought together and crazy characters and references to stories and, and situations and all put in one and it's just sort of like, you know, I'm a 70s baby so it's the dream, you know, it's like the perfect remix of my childhood and everything that I still love as an adult all in one. That's pretty remarkable to be a part of. That's, that's dream stuff right there.